no, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I want to be in the sequel. like poop but i just got off work and i already made dinner i'm just waiting on the rice but in the meantime i wanted to uh not carve we're not carving we're not carving this year that's way too messy uh i wanted to uh, paint the pumpkin with mosa because adrian is too cool for it and he's not gonna do it he has a little pumpkin and he said he's gonna do it later on but i highly doubt <laughs> i highly doubt that he's gonna do it but let me show you all the little things that we have right here on the table so we can decorate our pumpkins and they were they're actually pretty big pumpkins i got two for nine dollars at food max so that was a definitely a good deal and i got a smaller one because originally adrian and mosa were gonna do the big one but adrian decided he didn't want to do it so i'm like mm, i'll just do your pumpkin then so let me <clears throat> switch the camera around so i can show you the little setup that me and angie's got going on so i have my pumpkin right here i put this back down so if we want to pour down some of the um some of the paint we can do that the brushes water and then i put down a, a cloth so that after we're like want to switch colors we can just wipe it off right here that way we're not like getting up or having a whole cup making a mess and then these are the colors that i got they're kind of like folly colors so i didn't want to do too like two bright colors because we're still in halloween and then i have all these like markers that my sister gave me like a while back and they're kind of like chalk markers the i use this one to draw on my front uh my front window and then i apologize for the weird angle we're gonna have again you guys but i still have not found a tripod because i don't know if you remember but i broke mine on the previous videos so let me get started on this and let me set you up over there so i can start um painting most of literally the size of the pumpkin <laughs> you can't even see here today i went to work you guys and in the in the morning when i got there it was super 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 slow like there was literally no patience up until like i think it was like two and then it started to get super busy like busy to where it was like patient after patient after patient and i was like i didn't even have time to like sit down for a little bit before another set of patients came in i was like um excuse me where are all these patients coming from and if you guys are new and you guys don't know i work at a dental office as a dental assistant and i do billing as well Right now that I'm painting, I'm gonna tell you guys a scary story. <laughs> well, it wasn't, it wasn't like, well, at the time it was scary, but it's something that happened to me. And it was at a house that we used to live out in um, 
Arvin, California, which is literally the next little town from Bakersfield. We had gotten this new house. This was like back in like 2007, 2008. And everything was fine up until like we started to hear a bunch of noises in the nighttime and we started to acknowledge it is when it started to get more active. I remember one time uh, me and my brother were watching TV in the living room we had two living rooms so the first living room was more like for when guests come over and my mom's just greeting them and the second living room we had it more like a hangout spot so me and my brother we were sitting on the we were sitting on the couch and we were watching um i forgot what we were watching honestly we we're just watching tv and i don't know where the tv turns off and I thought my brother was messing with me. He said, I'm not turning it off. I'm not turning it off. I was like, okay, maybe the controls messed up or something. There has to be an explanation for why it's turning off. So then my brother goes and he goes to the kitchen. The kitchen was literally right next to our, um, right next to our house. Wait, right, sorry, <laughs> right next to our living room. And as soon as he went to the living room, the TV turned uh, off and it turned on again by itself. Why is it not? Turned on and off by itself. So then I tell my brother that I hear some noises upstairs because we have two stories. So right above us was my mom's room. And I told her I hear noises in the room. I thought my mom had left because it was just me and him there at the house. So then tell me why, you guys, tell me why out of nowhere, we hear somebody walking down the stairs, but like super fast, like do, 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 do. Like you can hear the steps going down the stairs. Dude, my whole body was like, I had chills. Cause we're like nobody else, literally nobody else was home except me, my brother. And then at the time I just had my, I had my daughter, uh, Felicity. She was only, I would say she was like three months old. And as soon as the the noise stopped from the end of the stairs, my daughter, she started like screaming, crying. like, And she was a really quiet child. So that literally scared me because she was screaming like bloody murder. And she would not be quiet. So then I told my brother, hey, you know what? Let's just go, uh, let's just go outside and let's wait for my mom. As soon as we said that, again, you heard the noise from the stairs to, 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 to all the way to the bottom. And then from, there was like the stairs and then there was like a little hallway. Um, you can hear like somebody dragging their feet towards like coming to us. And oh my God, you guys, I grabbed my daughter and my brother we like ran outside together and we did not go inside until my mom came home that was literally traumatizing so this is what mosa has going on okay and then this one is man i still haven't finished you guys so don't be judging me and then adrian sweetie what's goody <laughs> auntie <laughs> She tried to squirt out a little bit in the whole thing. Literally, the whole tube almost came out. <laughs> Adrian, can you open this for me? You might have to do this one more time. I'm gonna, while, while I wait for this to dry, I'm gonna paint the stem. Okay, I'm already done with mine. This is how she looks. I know it's not perfect, but I mean, I think it looks cute. And then all the freaking mess that we have. And let me turn Mosa's around. You can see Mosa. Mosa, you're just cute. <laughs> she put lashes on her. That's cute. And then Adrian wanted to do, um, he did a little, the Edgar haircut <laughs> with some headphones. <laughs> he did his right here. Now I got to clean up all this mess. Thank you. 
it is already 11 it's almost 12 um i already took a shower i just didn't wash my hair because it was not wash day today and i was just sitting here like thinking what am i gonna do as an outro and i'm so tired <laughs> i feel so drained i feel so tired but overall i had a very good day very productive day work was good i am not complaining i'm just tired i'm just starting to feel the day on me already um but right now i'm just going to show you a little montage of me picking up the living room picking up the kitchen just so i don't have such a mess for tomorrow and i do apologize if this video is very short but i had a really busy day i feel like i didn't really have time to be recording the way that i wanted to I did want to record when I was at Food Max trying to get the pumpkins, but the Food Max at my house, they don't have, they have like a little bit of carts and we could not find one. I don't know. Any of them that we found were broken. So I was like, I had a bunch of stuff in my hands, so there was no way of me to be recording. But either way, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, even though it was really small, but um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.